you might think that you might have seen every flying robot out there, especially the ones from the military or the ones from DJI. But we need to burst your bubble because you clearly have not. What if we told you that there are flying robots that do not look like conventional drones? If that caught your attention, you should definitely stick to the end of the video to know a lot more about some of the flying robots that you might have never heard of. But before we begin, you're watching Robot Future. So if you're into robotics and artificial intelligence, now's the time to be a part of this community by subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one and turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future uploads. With all that done, let's get started. Drones are really exciting and they are now more accessible to a lot of people than ever before. It's very difficult to categorize all kinds of flying robots into just one category because we have so many types of flying robots. The first type of flying robot would be the one that uses an air balloon to float in the sky. Then we have quadcopters like the ones that DJI makes. Then we have wing flapping robots that fly just like a bird with the help of their wings. And finally, we have airplane robots which are robots that fly like a plane, mostly autonomous. Before drones became a consumer item, they were mostly associated with the military as these robots were initially used for defense purposes and also as weapons. But today, drones are used for various purposes including search and rescue, surveillance, traffic monitoring, firefighting, agriculture, drone-based photography, delivery services, weather monitoring, and so on. Drones really require some power source such as battery or fuel to fly and they also have rotors embedded into their frame as a part of this structure. The frame is usually made of some lightweight material to reduce the weight and increase maneuverability. Drones also require a controller sometimes or are entirely autonomous. But what exciting drones do we have that you might not have seen before that can actually fly? Well, without any further ado, let's discuss just that. 5. Air Penguin We all love penguins, right? The ones we find in extremely cold places. But what if we told you that we have a penguin which is an autonomous flying robot that is agile and maneuverable? Well, that's exactly what the air penguin is all about. The air penguin comes from this German company called Festo and the company is all about creating bionic marine animals that can float in the air because evolution was not very kind to penguins and these fascinating creatures lost their ability to fly and they ended up being marine birds. But Festo engineers decided to fix that problem by creating an artificial penguin which can also fly and this robot is all about showcasing Festo's engineering brilliance. The robot is about 3.7 meters long and even then, it's a very agile and maneuverable autonomous flying object. It consists of a helium-filled balloon with a capacity of about 1 cubic meter and because of which it generates around 1 kilogram of buoyant force. This autonomous flying object has a pyramid-shaped flexible structure with 4 carbon fiber rods at each end. If you think that's just about it, well no, that's not the case because the air penguin also comes equipped with flaps just like birds do and this way the air penguin will be able to produce forward or reverse thrust. The wings are controlled by two actuators and the flapping actuator is responsible for the up and down movement. We have another unit that's responsible for displacing the wing struts to alter the pressure points of the wings. There's another rotational actuator for the two flapping wings, directing thrust upwards and downwards. This way air penguins will be able to move upward and downward accordingly. The air penguins are also equipped with complex navigation and communication facilities that allow them to explore the space they float in. These penguins can also recognize each other on the basis of their distances to transmitting stations and you should also keep in mind that all of this happened during 2009 which is more than a decade ago. Number 4. Festo Bionic Swift This list wouldn't be complete without adding another robot from Festo and this time we're looking at a robot that can fly just like a bird. This robot comes with wings flapping around. Most robots that we have today may not fly just like a real bird but this is going to be really different. The Festo Bionic Swift is a very agile maneuverable robot that can also fly loops and steep turns. The robot positions itself using an indoor GPS and these robotic birds are also capable of moving autonomously in a very coordinated pattern in an indoor defined airspace. When you look at this robot, you can clearly understand that the entire design was inspired by actual birds, especially with the use of lightweight structures and streamlined design. Bionic Swift weighs just 42 grams with a body length of about 44.5 centimeters and a wingspan of about 68 centimeters. 
The wings are also modeled on bird feathers. There are individual segments that are made of ultralight, flexible yet robust foam, and they overlap each other like shingles on a roof. They also have primary and secondary feathers, just like real-life birds. The bird's body forms a compact housing for the flapping wing mechanism, communication technology, as well as all the components that control the flapping of the wings and the lifting movement of the tail. You get brushless motors, the battery, the gear unit, and various other circuit boards for radio control. All of this is in a very compact form factor. If this is not interesting, we don't know what else is, and we would definitely love to have a flying robot for ourselves as well. Number 3. Festa E-Motion Butterflies This happens to be the third Festo flying robot on the list, and it clearly looks like the company is so much excited when it comes to building ultra-lightweight flying robots, and we promise you this is the last robot from Festa. The company clearly uses their E-Motion Butterflies to demonstrate the collective behavior of ultra-light flying objects. This robot is all about showing us functional integration, ultra-lightweight construction, and real-time optimized network communication between individual systems and the e-motion butterflies as a true statement to demonstrate that virtual and real worlds can work together. The communication technology used in this robot is an indoor GPS that controls the butterfly's collision-free collective movement. The robot is also equipped with an external network guidance and monitoring system that coordinates the individual flying objects anonymously and safely in a three-dimensional space. The combination of integrated electronics and external cameras with a network of computers ensures flight stability. These flying butterflies are also nature-inspired. The artificial butterflies are fitted with integrated electronics that control the wings precisely and individually to control the rapid flight movements. Let's hope that the company makes more of these robots to show how interesting science and technology can be. Well, at least that's what science has always been about. That is to show us that the impossible is definitely possible. Number 2. Tai Anka Tai Anka happens to be an unmanned aerial vehicle that has been operating under the Turkish Air Force ever since 2017. This one happens to be built and developed by Turkish Space Industries, and this is designed to meet reconnaissance, surveillance, target recognition, and detection requirements of the Turkish Armed Forces. The Tai Anka UAV is rated for a total payload carrying capacity of about 200 kilograms, which also includes laser designator, laser finder, and weapons payloads. This compact drone is powered by a 150 horsepower turboprop PD-175 engine developed by Turkish Engine Industries. It does have a maximum takeoff weight of about 1,600 kilograms with a maximum altitude of about 30,000 feet and endurance of more than 24 hours, which is insane. Number 1. Yabhan United 40 Finally, we have the Yabhan United 40. This one is also known as Yabhan Smart Eye 2. This happens to be another unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, that's capable of remote control and or autonomous flight operations developed by ADCOM Systems primarily for the United Emirates Air Force. This functions as a medium-altitude, long-endurance drone and can also be utilized for special missions, reconnaissance, humanitarian missions, intelligence, or military operations. The Yabhan United 40 can operate at about a maximum altitude of 7,000 meters and can fly up to 120 hours or 5 days. The aircraft is fitted with synthetic aperture radar, terrain avoidance systems, and a gimbal camera. So now you know something new about a few flying robots that you might have never heard of. And that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about these flying robots? What other videos should we do next on robotics and artificial intelligence? Do let us know by leaving a comment down below because we'd love to hear from y'all. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more robotics and artificial intelligence related content just like this one. And turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever we upload a brand new video. That's about it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and we'll meet again in the very next video. So stay tuned for more.